everyone, it's Dennis here from the Voice Load team, and I just wanted to show you a little bit about the NLU fallback intent. So let's dive into a project here. We're going to create a new assistant, and we're going to call it NLU fallback, and click build AI assistant. We're going to do web chat and English. Great. Nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and clean up our canvas here. We don't need all this stuff. So what I'm going to show you today is how can we remove false positives from our experience with the NLU. So let's go ahead and drag out a listen block. We're going to put on some buttons and we're going to build a banking chatbot. So I'm going to add two intents, one for paying with debit and then another one with asking for help. Say so pay with debit on our button, attach an intent here. Pay debit. And let's add some utterances. Pay with debit, debit. And we can use the AI generate feature to add some more. Okay, those are all pretty good. Create intent. Now let's add another button here. Help. And attach the built-in. Okay, great. So let's attach this to the start block and then add some talk steps. So yes, we support debit. And then yes, we can help. Okay. Let's clean up our canvas a little bit here. Okay, great. And let's add an intro. And we'll say, how can if I can spell? Can I help you? And we're ready to train our NLU. I'm going to go into the top right here, hit run, hit training, train my assistant. So we're basically going to send all those utterances from our chatbot to our NLU training model. And there we go. It's all ready. Now let's test out some phrases. Say I want to pay with debit. Okay, it's pretty good. Good matching. Uh, I want to pay with my debit card. So none of these, I have actually added any of these utterances in. These are all things that the user can say and we still match. But here's the real question. What if we add pay with credit card? So in theory, it shouldn't match because our bank for some reason doesn't support credit. So pay with credit card. Oh no, it's still matched to pay with debit. So why is this the case? Well, an NLU generally works by having pretty general intents and matching capabilities. So if we type something random like pay with a grape or something like that, it wouldn't match. But credit card is very similar to debit card. So what we can do to fix this is open up our NLU model here at the top. Or if you're using enterprise, you have this shiny NLU manager. Let's so click NLU model. Now let's extend this fallback intent. So basically we can add utterances in here that will let us uh, dictate what are false positives, things that shouldn't match to anything in our use case. I'm going to say pay with credit card. I want to pay with credit, credit, and that should be enough. Now what's going to happen is that Rather than matching to debit, we want this to match to none. And then we'll re-ask the user a question. Let's go ahead and retrain our model. You can see here our none intent or our fallback intent is untrained. We're going to hit train. And in a couple of seconds, we can rerun our chatbot. There we go. Let's hit run. And let's say pay with credit. There we go. We hit the none intent because we matched something related to credit, and we've now added it into our false positives. So we can add something else, say credit, none again, and there we go. So we found a way to not trigger our pay with debit intent by adding examples to the fallback intent. This way we can avoid false positives. There's many use cases that we can do with this. We can, if we're building a dentist app, we can make sure that no other body parts match to, to having operations on them. 
as a dentist, you only operate on teeth and gums and, and whatnot, not on people's backs or arms. So many different ways to customize your intents and create a better NLU model for your use case.